Hi, today I'm going to be talking about Mary Dreyer. Her full name was Mary Barrett Dreyer and she was born in 1611 to two English Puritan parents. Growing up, Mary as well was an English Puritan, but as she got older, she turned to Quakerism. During this time, it was a big no-no for anyone to do that. As she got older, Mary decided to take on a woman named Anne Hutchinson, who at the time was one of the most influential women of their era. She took on her teachings because she explained that Quakers had their own personal relationship with God, which really intrigued Mary. So together, they created a group called Autonomous Heresy, and where they would have men and women come together to talk about the Bible. Women, once again, weren't allowed to have any part in religion, and they went a lot of they went against a lot of men in society, and they received a lot of hate and punishment for what they were doing. Mary Dreyer married a man named William Dreyer. He was very well liked and represented in society. Although he supported Mary 100%, he never chose to switch to Quakerism himself. The couple tried for a child, and on October 17, 1637, they gave birth to a stillborn. Around January 1638, Anne Hutchinson was tried for spreading Quakerism and banned from Boston. Because of the work they did together, dryers were also banned. Around the same time, authorities learned about the stillborn baby that dryers had given given birth to. They dug it up and reported publicly how the child was severely disformed and had the looks of a devilish figure. They said that the child had horns and claws and had a face but no head. They didn't only publicly humiliate the dryers, but they made them relive a traumatic experience in their life. After both women and their husband were banned from the colony, they moved to Rhode Island. William and Mary Dreyer went back to England in 1652. It's where Mary joined the Quakers because George Fox's beliefs were very similar to the ones that her and Anne had been preaching for years prior. William decided to go back to Rhode Island, but Mary stayed in England until 1657. Around 1657, Mary Dreyer decided to return to the Boston area. She wanted to go back to protest the, uh, the law banning Quakerism. She was arrested there and banned from the colony. She kept returning to Massachusetts to keep trying to fight these laws. Uh, she was permanently banned and arrested and sentenced to death around the third time. Like we said earlier, her husband was very well known and knew a lot of individuals. He was able to get her off this death sentence and she was forced to go back to Rhode Island. However, she could never stay away from Massachusetts. In 1660, she returned once again. She was arrested and sentenced to death again. Her family pleaded that she repent her beliefs, but she refused. Mary Dreyer was sentenced to death on May 31st, 1660. She was hung publicly on June 1st, 1660 in the Boston Commons. Their reasoning was for her being a Quaker in Massachusetts. However, her last words were very powerful in which she said, yeah, I have been in paradise several days and now I am about to enter eternal happiness. Mary Dreyer left a huge impact on this world, especially for the Quakers in our world today. In her honor, an artist named Sylvia Shaw Judson created a sculpture of her. Her statue is in Massachusetts, not too far from where she was once hung.